In this video, I share with you the Kwald Modular Sci-Fi Terrain. But before we get into today's video, just wanted to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. You make this channel what it is. And also wanted to share the GGGGs for this past month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this past month of December of 2021, we had the printed and painted printable scenery Druid's Palace that goes to Nam T. And then three other patrons received the Zone Quantum Tempest all-in pledges. Goes to Jared S., Dennis M., and Brandon B. And the $100 that went towards the crowdfunder is going to True Blue Knight. Check out my link below to go to my Patreon page if you're interested in getting in on the GGGGs. For this month of January of 2022, you can see the list that will be added to as the month goes along. Andrew Kreinbrink, the one who created these files, reached out to me a month ago and asked if I would be willing to do a review of his files. And sure enough, I was more than willing to do so. And these are basically platforms. And the Kickstarter that's going on right now that goes through the end of January is the cheapest pledge level that I've ever seen. So for $5, you're going to get all of these platforms and the supports that you're going to need in order to create some extensive sci-fi scenery. We are going to go over to the computer in a little bit and I'll walk you through the campaign, which is relatively short, but just wanted to show off the prints. I printed everything here at 0.2 millimeter height with 10% infill and uh, was fairly easy to print these out. I did have two issues. One of them was on the short support piece. For some reason, the pipe didn't print as well as underneath the railings probably could have used some support on the ends because I did have some sagging going on there. Now, one of the issues is I do print with my printers very, very hot at 215 degrees. And that is probably 15 degrees more than it needs to be. So I don't know if that affected the quality of my prints as opposed to the ones that Andrew got. So make sure that you experiment. The other issue as well that I ran into is because I run my printers hot, there is sagging that happened inside where the clips go. So I did need to shave the clips down just a little bit because if I didn't, the clips would squeeze the ball magnets that's inside so that they didn't rotate very well. And that is one of the features I wanna highlight because you guys know I love magnetizing my terrain pieces so that they go together easily versus using clips. And that's one of the things I really like about this set is that you can use five millimeter ball magnets. And that is awesome because I have hundreds of those magnets and it worked out really well for me. You can definitely use the clip that he does provide. And this isn't standard open lock or anything because they are sized so that it can receive the ball magnets, which is an easy trade off for me to make. All these pieces do clip on together with magnets and it's really easy to create uh, the scenery that you want. Also, you can see that these platforms do have these slots underneath so that they will fit onto the support pieces at the top. So I think just the way that these pieces go together is relatively clean and quick to be able to do that. Even if you aren't using clips, I found that I was able to create some scenery without using any clips at all and without any magnetizing, you are able to put these pieces together because of the slots that are underneath and you can just put them in with the support pieces. You do get two different size. You get the full size as well as the half size. Taller platforms are about uh, maybe a little bit less than three and a half inches tall or in centimeters is gonna be about 85 millimeters tall. And then the medium size pieces are are one and three quarters inches tall to the top of the platform. And then in terms of centimeters is 45 millimeters. So that'll give you a good sense of the height and the variation that you're gonna be able to receive. And you can stack on top of the platforms as well to create multi-height variation if you want. And I've said in previous videos before, I do tend to like platforms more than buildings because it doesn't completely block line of sight. You can see underneath and overhead uh, so you do have a little bit more line of sight availability with platforms and then this p and then these platforms can also work 
with other 3D printed buildings, sci-fi uh, buildings if you want. And you can create a bunch of catwalks and there's these stairs where uh, the thing I really appreciate is that the miniature actually sits on the stair. Oftentimes a lot of stairs you're not actually able to put the miniature on there. So I really like that about this set. Now unfortunately I did not make a painting tutorial but you can check out some of my other videos. I'll link one right here that will show you this really quick paint scheme, sort of this rusted out scheme that I have going on here. But this was relatively quick and easy to paint. So let's go ahead and go over to the computer and I can walk you through the Kickstarter. So here we are on the Kickstarter page and it just started I think on January 1st. And it's gonna go through until the end of this month, the 31st. And right now it is a little bit less than halfway to its $500 goal. So let's go ahead and take a look. And it's relatively simple page because there isn't a ton to it. Like I mentioned before, there is basically just one major pledge level, which is $5, and that's going to give you everything. And then obviously, if you want to sell, uh, it's going to cost you $50. So let's go ahead and take a look. And these are, I printed out almost all of these different pieces that you see here. The only one that I didn't do was the ramp. But as you can see, all of the files are ready to go and he will deliver as soon as the campaign is over and Kickstarter okays it. And this is all assuming that he is going to reach his $500 goal. And really this video is to help uh, with some of these first time uh, Kickstarters and producers. And in some ways I wonder if this would have fared better if this was pay what you want because folks might have paid even more than $5. I probably would have paid $10 at least or 15 for a set like this, but it's a great deal. So just wanna encourage all of you to check this out and go ahead and uh, pledge $5. So like I mentioned in previously, I printed everything at 0.2 millimeter height and the pieces are small enough that they will fit even on a smaller print set, uh, print bed. And definitely you do want to experiment just uh, as you're printing out some of the pieces. I think you should definitely add a little bit of support for the ends of those rails. And also experiment with the sizing of your clips. If you're going to use the magnetic clips, just to make sure that they're not too tight. So just experiment just by decreasing like maybe one or two percent in size and see whether or not that works. Or do what I did, which was to slice the top of the clip off. And then here are some of the stretch goals, which actually I think ladders and hazards would be awesome. So let's go ahead and try to push this through so that it does fund and we can encourage some of these independent creators like Andrew and encourage them as well. Links in the descriptions below so, uh, to this Kickstarter page, so check that out. Also, I know many of you are trying to figure out where the heck to buy these five millimeter magnetic balls, and they are really hard to find. You have to search around. So some other common places that I found is eBay or AliExpress. But in some countries, actually these are illegal, and that's why you might have a hard time finding them. I've actually bought them on Amazon, but I searched both on eBay and on Amazon and didn't find anything. But I had luck here on Newegg, and I don't know if they do international shipping or not, but I found some pretty good deals. So you get a thousand of these uh, silver ones for either $56 or um, colored ones for 45. That's a really good deal because typically you're gonna get 212 to, or 222 for about $15. So getting a thousand for under $50, around 56 here even, that's a good deal. I scrolled down here and found this. This is $50. So that's a really good deal and you're getting a thousand of them. So try out New Egg if you can't find it on eBay or on AliExpress. But I do know that due to uh, just the laws changing about whether or not these are actually hazardous for kids or not, I do know that they change whether or not these are available. So make sure to check these out. So there you go, hopefully this is helpful for you. Again, for $5, this is relatively cheap. And let's go ahead and try to bring this across the finish line so that it can be properly funded and see if there can't be also stretch goals that are unlocked. But again, $5. This is one of the cheapest campaigns that I've ever seen. 
and I think you're going to get your money's worth. And especially because there is the option of magnetizing all of the clips, I think that is a great option and enables setup to be relatively fast as well. This printed and painted set is one of the GGGGs for January of 2021. So you are going to receive this as well as Andrew has provided three pledges for my Patreon supporters. So at the end of the month, Bob will pick uh, four people, four patrons, one to receive this painted and printed set, as well as three people receiving the $5 pledge. Use my link below again to go to my Patreon page and you can check out the other GGGGs for this month as well. Otherwise, happy printing, happy playing. We'll see you next time.